environmental sustainability, accompanied by all the distinguished guests. Welcome. Climate change scientific findings is a fundamental component of the global stocktake process under the Paris Agreement, which is designed to assess collective progress towards achieving the goals of the Paris Agreement in addressing global warming. The outcomes of this process nevertheless concludes that the current efforts at the global scale are insufficient and cause global warming at 1.1 degrees Celsius. Keeping global warming away from us requires deep, rapid and sustained reductions in global GHG emissions of 43% by 2030 and 60% by 2035 and achieving net zero by 2050. And this outcome should not be taken lightly by any countries or economies and need to be embedded and aligned with the decarbonisation policy at the national level. As a country, Malaysia is committed towards contributing to address the issue of climate change at a global level. We have set various ambitious long-term strategies to address climate change issues and achieve sustainable growth. We have launched several policies, including the new updated National Climate Change Policy, which integrates our commitments under the Paris Agreement. The approach to implementing this policy also differs in which the focus has shifted from mainstreaming climate change to transi transitioning towards a low carbon and climate resilient development. This year as well, the government has announced that we are committed to achieve net zero by 2050. It is not an easy task, as I'm sure the scientists in this room are aware, for a developing country like Malaysia, but we feel that we need to be a beacon of ambition. And not only, I mean obviously essentially that this would contribute to us, our efforts to fight uh, climate change, but it will also be a catalyst to attract more green investments and create more green jobs in the country. We are in the midst of drafting our National Climate Change Bill, which we hope to bring to Parliament by next year. And this will be a guide for mitigation measures and along with the National Carbon Market Policy, will bring our carbon trading initiatives in line with international developments, what has been agreed under Article 6 of UNFCCC, as well as the International Civil Aviation Organization. We are also, and I think this is more urgent and more important, working on our national adaptation plan. At the end of the day, Malaysia is a small contributor to GHG emissions worldwide. We need to play our part, but at the same time, if we do not prepare and invest in adaptation, then we will not be able to deal with the changes that will happen even if we keep global warming between 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. As we continue to implement our climate policies, it's essential that to recognize that these strategies take into account IPCC scientific assessments that provide the foundation for climate action worldwide. These findings directly shape Malaysia's policy direction to ensure that our efforts are aligned with the global commitments to mitigate climate risk and achieve long-term sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, the IPCC provides the most comprehensive and authoritative scientific assessments on climate change. It delivers robust, up-to-date and regionally relevant scientific findings that support countries, including Malaysia, to develop the necessary climate policies and strategies backed by the latest scientific evidence. We recognize this effort by IPCC and is keen to be part of the scientific process. Through initiatives and partnerships such as this symposium, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environmental Sustainability, or NRES, we demonstrate our deep commitment to support Malaysian scientists in the global climate scientific process under IPCC. Today, we have an exceptional opportunity for climate scientists under IPCC to engage with Malaysian scientists including many young and early career researchers who are future leaders in climate science. These young minds are the innovators and thinkers who will shape the direction of global climate science in the years to come. It is crucial that we create greater awareness of the IPCC among our scientists and encourage your active participation in the IPCC processes. Your involvement will not only contribute to global climate science, but also enhance our influence in shaping international climate policy. 